Walking along, I'm crossing the street when a talking squirrel I did meet. He passed on some knowledge, but just a pearl. He was a talking magic squirrel. He said, I like my lady squirrels with really big butts. And since you don't appear to be using them, could I please borrow your nuts? He quickly flew up my leg and started to latch onto a ball. And I punched myself in the groin and he squeaked and began to fall. He yelled out in horror and started to wail. I swung him wildly by his furry tail. I spun him around so fast I thought he was going to hurl. It was like I was playing tilt-a-whirl with a squirrel. I said, who the hell are you to get so damn cocky? He said, I'm a magic squirrel and my name is Rocky. I yelled, my balls are mine and I prefer to have two. Plus I shaved them and they wouldn't really look good on you. He said, yeah, I got confused with your shaved balls. I kind of felt like a dope because without the fuzz and the pubes, it looked just like a cantaloupe. I said, stay out of my pants and we'll get along just fine because your nuts are yours and my nuts are mine. Well, the nuts that you seek are of the species acorn, plus my nuts are attached and I've had them since I was born. So Rocky and I now have finally agreed. He'll no longer try and steal nuts that bleed. And when he opens his nuts because it's time to feed, your nuts will stay yours. There will be nut, no greed. And he won't touch my nuts and I won't need to plead. And if you're wondering, does this talking magic squirrel also read? You know, I could have just daydreamed the whole thing, because I smoked a bunch of weed.